Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to learn how to modify the trim order of structural members in a weldment design, which allows us to create some pretty interesting mitered corners between members that are otherwise impossible. We're starting out with a relatively simple 3D sketch, which is going to serve as the driving sketch for our structural members. And to add these structural members into our design, we first need to make sure that the weldments tab is active and open, and we'll begin by selecting structural member. From here, we can use the property manager to define the standard type and size of the weldment profile we'd like to work with. I'm going to be using the ANSI inch standard with a square tube type and a size of 2 by 2 by 1 quarter. The next step is going to be to create groups. And groups contain members which will be trimmed up against one another. And our first group is going to be these four lines at the bottom of our 3D sketch. Here you'll find that the default corner treatment is going to be a 45 degree miter at the corners and we can adjust this from the property manager if we scroll down. We have a couple additional options here. You can see those working in the preview but we're kind of limited in what we can actually accomplish here. So we're going to stick with our end miter and we're going to follow this up with a few more groups. Groups must be made up of sketch entities that are either contiguous which means touching end to end uh, or they can be parallel. So let's go ahead and create a few more groups here. Our second group is going to be the similar lines at the top, again with that 45 degree miter. Our third group is going to be the vertical parallel lines seen here. And as I'm creating these, what you'll notice is that they're actually being trimmed with respect to groups one and two that we just created. So they're automatically trimmed off of there, and that's going to be a focus that we'll be here, uh, talking about here shortly. We'll also need to create a fourth and fifth group, each consisting of one arc at the top. So there's our fourth group, and finally our fifth group. Now if we select one of our existing groups, like group three for example, you'll find that there aren't any other corner treatment options available because those are defined uh, by the order of groups in the existing groups. They're tr trimmed up nicely here and there's really nothing else we can do with them. So what if we wanted to create a three-way miter for example? Well, this is where trim order is going to come into play. When you create multiple groups in a structural member feature, a trim order is going to be established. Group 2 at the top here is going to be trimmed with respect to group 1. Group 3, the one we have selected here, is going to be trimmed with respect to group 1 and 2, so on and so forth. However, this trim order can be adjusted to force separate groups to trim simultaneously, which is going to result in some interesting corners. And you'll find that while we're still editing this feature, each one of these vertices has a purple handle associated with it. And if we click this, it's going to open up a corner treatment dialog box. This is going to show all of our associated groups in their current trim order. You'll find group 1 is set to trim order 1, group 2 is set to trim order 2. If we select group 2 and adjust the trim order to 1, we're forcing SOLIDWORKS to trim these simultaneously, and you'll see the result in the preview here is going to be that three-way miter that we just talked about. And it's worth noting here that uh, this is something that's otherwise impossible to create outside of adjusting corner treatment. Had we set the trim order to 2 for both groups, the result here would be the same, but there may be some downstream implications, so it's important to understand those downstream differences when manipulating your trim order. You could also reverse the trim order here to invert the trimming, and this change is going to be applied to this vertex only. Now this concept can be applied to vertices where more than three structural members meet as well, such as this vertex at the top. And here we'll adjust the trim order once again, click that purple handle, and we're going to set the trim order equal to 1 for all three groups. Now in doing this, we've created this time a four-way miter that, once again, is going to be impossible to create uh, without adjusting that trim order. This results in some pretty interesting and aesthetically pleasing corners, like you can see here. Those look quite a bit nicer than our other corners. Uh, and this really allows you to achieve the exact design intent that you're looking for in your structural members and your weldment designs. I hope you enjoyed this look at adjusting the trim order of structural members. And if you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.